<laughs> oh yeah, every single time I, I, I make out with this guy, you know, like the, um, whatever. I'm on live. Damn, 61,000, 64,000 people at 332 a.m. You nosy fuckers. You fucking nosy fuckers. Oh shit, my shit came off. I'll make it right. Mm, it came off. Babe, is there any liquor here? Because I'm I'm a little drunky drunk and I want to continue being drunky drunky. I don't drink, so I don't think so. Guys, I want to think of House of... I got to look for the name. Because yesterday... All right, so this whole week I wanted to go out. But yesterday and today... Oh, there's 93,000 people on live right now at this time. Wow. Um... Night of uh, all right. So yes, no, yesterday, no, because you was mad at me yesterday. So yesterday, right? Um, all right. So we've been going out this whole weekend. You know, obviously he don't really go out like that. We don't really go out like that. We haven't gone out in months. But you know, it's my birthday weekend. I want to go out, so I went out this whole week. And you know, offset tired. We tired and everything. So um, yesterday, the offset made me go out and. We was going crazy looking for somebody to do wigs because Tokyo left looking for somebody to do clothes because I don't have no clothes. I shipped everything off. I don't even have shoes. I only got two shoes and both of them red. So, uh, <laughs> so um, House of Evians, I got to find his name because he came and he did a dress on me in 20 minutes. And then Shane Justine, he got a store here. Look at this dress. I'm supposed to tailor it, but I still look good. I hope still look good. Hey, turn around. Turn around. Ooh, there's our closet, y'all. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. oh, my bitch is thick. All that spinach dip I've been eating from Papa mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So I'm seeing the Nigerian flags. I'm seeing the Nigerian flags. And I wanted to talk about this, right? Because um, a couple of days ago, like... Like I said about six days ago, they were talking to me about SARS. And I asked my followers, like... What does what what is going on in Nigeria? Because I don't know what's going on out there. You know what I'm saying? And they started explaining to me, but then I deleted my Twitter and I went away from Instagram because you know um, I was just having drama with my fans and everything, whatever. But then I'm seeing what's going on, and everything, and that shit makes me so sad. You wanna know why it makes me sad? Because I went to Nigeria, and as you could see on my Twitter, and if you follow me. And you was in my Insta story while I went to Nigeria. You know I was fucking lit. You know a bitch had fun in Nigeria. I was drinking every single day. Um, the and but you know, but this is the thing though. You know what made Nigeria one of the best countries I've ever been with? Because this play, I've been almost everywhere on the world. But people in Nigeria were just so fucking lit. You know what made Nigeria the best, one of the best countries I've been been to besides the food? It was the people. The people energy. Even I'll say, I'll say you went to Nigeria before, right? Yeah. It wasn't one of your best concerts in Nigeria? Yep. He said it. He, when he was telling me, yo, when you go to Nigeria, it's going to be so fucking lit. So I made Nigeria one of the littest places ever is the people. So, um, and I was just in Nigeria and I'm like, yo, this is a good like place, like a tourist place. But like, like touring, right? Like tourism and shit. My bad, yo, I'm drunk. So if I ain't saying the words right, suck my dick. I'm drunky, drunky, drunky. And this is the thing, right? I'm like, babe, I'm drunk. <laughs> I want to suck it. Anyways, <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm drunk. So it's like, um... Like I was saying, the people just make Nigeria great. Just the energy. You go to the supermarket, people are just fucking happy as fuck. Um, the energy, it it's like New York. Like, it's like people, it's like a 24-7 shit. Like, people is outside all day, every day. When you go outside in the daytime, there's so many people. The streets are so crowded. At nighttime, people are just so fucking lit. And, like, the streets are just busy, busy, busy. And, um... My thing is, like, for, for uh, Nigerian government, like, it's like, you got to treat your people right. You know what I'm saying? Just like motherfucking 
every country, right? But it's like, you got to treat your people right. Like, it's like, in order for your country to be successful, is by treating your people. By putting money in, in your country, like, let's say by building. There's people in Nigeria that want to work. Because there's, like, for example, Americans, Americans are lazy as fuck. Because we have so much benefits and shit. They're lazy as fuck. But Nigerian, the people are running and walking around. They're just looking for jobs. Like, the people that was working outside our hotel, they were sleeping there, waking up, working, keep building. And it's like if you put money in your in your um in your country, people want to come out to work. If um your people in your country are tired of fucking um the shit the police are doing, just abusing people, bro, just get that shit fixed. The people make country. If the people are happy, the people want to want to work, want to want to produce, want to want to fight for their country. Period. And that's just that. I'm just saying this because I love Nigeria. I'm not Nigerian. But the, the time that I have there was just such a lit time. It just makes me really sad to see what's going on out there. And I just wanted to say something about that. But, babe. Yo. I need a drinky drink. I think you got some of that wine she still. You should... Babe, I think I opened both the wines, and I think they're not tasting good. We need to buy liquor in this house because, like, I drink. She's the only one drinks. So That's not. That, I'm not the only one that drink here. My cousins drink. My uncle drink. Uh, niggas drink in this bitch. We need to buy liquor. You see, you're back. You're back here, Nah, I ain't. I don't drink. Nigga. Just because you don't drink, but the people in your in your house drink. Your bitch drink. Look at the left, though. Oh yeah, your hair growing. That's that. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, sorry. Yeah, though. No. Back to this. Yeah. That hair is growing. So you gotta maintain fucking, you know, dreading your hair. You gotta look nice. Yeah, though. Hair grows so much. Huh? A motherfucking ass calling me. Um. Let's check the kitchen. Hey guys, if you guys know anybody that knows how to organize um fucking closets, we need a fucking closet organizing whatever the fuck cuz we barely be here. It was really hard for us to be in this house cuz you know, we was in California working, right babe? Facts. And then out of nowhere COVID hit, so we ain't had no choice but to be there and stuck there. So um now we, we, we back out here in, in Atlanta and shit. And it's just like there's so much shit to fix. Let me tell you something. People, babe. Yo. People always be talking about get a house. Ah, ah, ah. But let me tell you something. When you rent something and something breaks, the landlord going to fix it. In this motherfucking house, something breaks and we got to motherfucking fix everything. This is a big motherfucking house. There's so much shit to fix. Guys, uh, let me ask you this question. And yeah, because we want to do everything brand new. We got to do everything brand new from like the fucking everything, everything, everything. This house has beautiful decoration, but it's like, you know, we want to make it like more modern and everything. So, guys, do we, I'm going to ask you this question because me and Offset, since this is our house, we both have a lot of disagreements on how things should look. So, do you guys would like us to film us... Um, like decorating, what's that? What's the word called, babe? Because I'm drunk as fuck. Decorating. Decorating. That's not the word. It's a fancier word. Uh, do you guys want to see us furnish, furnish, furnish our home, decorate our home, fix our home? Would you guys want what? I can't. I'm too drunk. Boy, get your motherfucking ass down from there. Look at this motherfucker. This motherfucker right here. Get down from there. There's a big ass, that's a, we got a big ass motherfucking closet. Get your, look at that dick, all for me. Ah. Oh yeah, the, the board is renovating, somebody just said it on the motherfucking Instagram comments. Would you guys like us to renovate our house? Would you guys want us to film it and I don't know, we probably, I don't know, sell it to Amazon or Netflix and just put it out or shit. We could just put it out on somewhere. Somebody gonna pick it up. We some motherfucking crazy people. Would you guys, would you guys want us to, uh, what's the motherfucking word again? My bad, y'all, I'm drunk. That 1942 hit me like, ah, I, I do get. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
drunk at head. <laughs> Woo! Okay, guys, would you guys. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You see, you want to gamble again. Matter of fact, you should go back to life because I do want some of my breakfast. If you want to gamble some money, make some money. That's for you, guys. Anyway, so guys, do you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, don't put my dress up because you know the mirror is motherfucking 360 in this bitch. God forbid my drunk ass motherfucking put the mirror and you fucking lifting my dress up and my ass already show. People already saw my motherfucking pancake looking fucking titties. Shit, I'm drunk as a bitch. I'm drunk. I'm drunk, but I could get more drunker. All right, guys. So, like I was saying, right? What was saying? What was saying? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What I was saying was, what I was saying, would you guys like us to film us renovating the crib? <sighs> okay, wait, let me look at the comments. Hey, Monique Slaughter, the word is... The word, yeah, the word is... Anyway, you know a bitch is drunk as hell. All right. Um, somebody said part two of the BTS of WAP. You know we was going to put that this week. I think I was supposed to approve it, but I didn't even look at that stuff. But I'm going to post it on my OnlyFans. Oh, yeah, my OnlyFans. There's uh. no liquor in this fucking house. Ugh. Look, question, right? Question. I gotta ask this question to Offset Uncle, because Offset Uncle be here. Why you got all these bottles with no fucking drinky drink in it? Look at all these bottles. All of them empty. All of them empty. <sighs> Maybe my cousin's got some liquor. Marcelito! Marcelito! No. You got some liquor upstairs? No. Are you sure? I want some liquor. Is Uncle in his room? Hey! Is Uncle in his room? I think so. Then you got some liquor? I'm litty like a motherfucking titty. Oh, wait. Wait. Okay, hold on. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Oh, shit. Niggas got the Mexican. Niggas got the Mexican beer. We said, Marcelito. We got some beer. You want some beer? Yeah. All right, you're going to have to come downstairs, though. We got the Mexican beer. Ah! Babe. Can you please open this beer for me? Marceli, we on live. Can you, you know how to open this beer like with your like teeth? No, not with my teeth. You crazy. <laughs> crazy. A lighter? Estoy en vivo, muchachos. No, estoy en vivo, ¿ok? Ooh, that was smooth. You opened it real smooth. What the fuck is that, though? Is that a knife? Yeah. Oh. Is that a rolling braid on my shit? Where's the tacos? I, I don't know where the tacos at, but we won't. We, hmm. Purr. Mm, I love Rolling Ray. He's my spirit M. Uh, so I'm leaving tomorrow to uh, um I'm leaving tomorrow to uh LA. But before that I wanna get a fucking facial. Look at that. That bitch is talking right there. This bitch want to be seen so bad. You fuck ass bitch. You want to be seen so fucking bad. You want everybody on motherfucking Instagram to see your big fat ass. You stupid bitch. This bitch right there. I saw I throw hoe. Because I'm going to get a specialist to motherfucking pop your ass. 
on my motherfucking forehead, bitch. You know I don't fucking like you, bitch. You've been in my motherfucking face for fucking four days, but it's all right, bitch. Suck my dick, you nasty bitch. So yeah, I need somebody, um, I need somebody to, um, I need somebody to, um, do a facial out here in Atlanta because this bitch right here, yo, this bitch right here is blowing my pussy away. I just been breaking out lately and I don't know what, I've been breaking out right here. I don't know. This is very strange. I don't understand why I'm breaking out. One of you fuck fuck ass bitches doing black magic on me. You bitches want me to be ugly so bad, you fuck ass bitch. You hoes is making black magic for my face to break out, but guess what? My nigga still gonna nut on it, bitch. He's still gonna nut on it, bitch. Somebody said we need new music. It's coming. It's coming. You know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna wait nine more months to put. I'm not gonna wait nine more months to put out music, okay? It's gonna come really soon, but you know it takes a process because me, I don't like putting out music out like crazy. Like a lot of people just be, I'm very precise in things that I put out. Like I want to make sure everything is a. <sighs> I want to make sure that everything is a banger. Everything got an amazing music. But... Hey, um. Anyway, though, oh, I got nine months of baby. Not me, bitch. I ain't having a baby. I want to have a baby like in two years from now. I gotta, I gotta put out an album first. I, but then I can't. We be fucking too much. I gotta, I gotta be careful. Nah, but anyways, nah, bitch, nah, nah. At least in two years because I gotta go on tour. I gotta make my album. There's a lot of shit that I wanna do, but I couldn't do because of COVID. So I gotta, like, probably in 20. 2021 is a couple of months right now. So not 2021. Maybe 2022, bitch. Maybe 2022, bitch. Not my motherfucker right now, because a bitch gotta do a lot of shit. Um. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I thought I was going to get pregnant and give birth in the early 2022. That's That always been my plan. Because, you know, I, was, I want my kids to be close in age. But then again, that's not good that your kids is that close in age. Because, you know, something about my sister. Oh, Sorry. Uh, look what my, look what, look what I'll say. Uncle, the best uncle in the world just brought me. But then again, should I drink this? Because I was drinking 1942 in the club. But then again, 1942 to me, it doesn't look light. You know what I'm saying? Like you're like light liquor, dark liquor. Uh, 1942 looks mixed to me, cause it's like not that light and not that brown. So am I allowed to drink Hennessy? I'm not a drinker like that. So am I allowed to drink Hennessy if I drink 1942? I don't want to wake up fucked up. I just want to suck dick tonight. What's that? Guys, I'm looking at the comments right now. Should I? If I drink 1942, can I drink Hennessy? Because 1942 don't look like light liquor. It look like mixed liquor. So can I drink Hennessy? I ain't, I ain't trying to hang up. With, I ain't trying to wake up with a hangover, y'all. I got a flight to catch. Should I drink this shit or not? Because I'm just trying to suck dick. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to suck dick. And, uh... Now we got fucked up. Don't do that. No mixing. No. D DJ Camilo been in the fucking streets for a long time. He be in the club. So if he say no, oh, I see a lot of no people. I should not drink Hennessy. I'm going to just keep it beautiful and drink the Modelo. Hey, we're taking it all the way to Mexico. Oh, I don't got 1942 in this bitch. 
Somebody said that wop must be out of no that that wop stay on commission. Fuck you mean? I've been fucking this nigga four days straight, back to back every night. My pussy hasn't had a rest. Fuck you mean WAP is out of commission. I just want to suck dick. I got to cater to my nigga. He's so fine. No, anyway, y'all. Anyway, y'all. Freaking Martin, tell him WAP don't be playing. The WAP don't be playing, okay? Damn, this Mexican beer is different. This bitch right here, this shit was a booze booze. I'm drunk as fuck. Mm. Shit was, this shit hitting. I should drink that. Um. Drunk as a bitch. Oh. It's time to go to bed. Time to go to bed. Time to go to bed. Babe. This house is so big. Isn't it beautiful? I can't believe it's mine. Like, I really can't believe it's mine. Like, I work my ass off for these type of stuff. But it's a lot of work. Like, being a homeowner, like, people be like, oh, buy a house, this and that. It's a lot of work. It's a big responsibility to take care of a fucking crib, everything. I have, like, a lot of properties. But this one is, like, way more expensive. And my fucking insurance is just so expensive. So it's just, like, it's hard. <laughs> but it just makes me happy it makes me really proud like it's like wow this is mine and this is what i bust my ass for i can't even believe it's mine like bitch you really live here so nice i haven't been here in a long time so every single time i be here i'd be just so flabbergasted <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> it's my house bae bae not this nigga sleeping. Oh, hell no. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, baby. I thought I got scared. I, I thought I got scared. I thought you fell asleep on me because I want to get a little freaky tona. Freaky tona. Go and get off line so you put some on line for a thousand. <laughs> Shut up, the booze. All right. All right. Bye, y'all. I gotta fuck this nigga before I go. He go to bed. You're not gonna wake fucking go to sleep. Wake the fuck up. Yeah. Um, this shit. <laughs>